Okay, so um, what we're going to talk about in this uh, little video is uh, show and shares. Now, when I first started um, teaching a smart board course, I was, this was one of the ideas I was most excited about. Because it's, it's basically just, hey, I found this. Let's share it with everybody else in the group. And, and uh, together, we'll build a lot of uh, cool tools that we can use. Uh, a lot of the show and shares that I'll share with you in this course, I've I've found through that process, other people sharing them with me. Um, uh, but the idea isn't like that you work for hours on this. It's just, I found something, I thought it was kind of cool, here it is, and, and this is how it works. So I have the rubric up here. Um, you'll do a number of show and shares through the course. Um, the first of them being in, um, in this current module, module six. Um, I'm not going to read the information because you have the rubric yourself, but this is what I'll say. Basically, if you look at the criteria, the first three criteria really kind of are about your um, your show and share. And the last two are just about doing the right thing, meaning uh, the last one there is you have to do something that's not something someone else has done also. And then um, the deadline there is that's pretty obvious. Uh, but basically, you need to make sure you have a description need at least one example of the tool or resource and then um, and then you have to make sure that it, it, there's educational reason for that so I'll, I'm going to show um, in this video I'm going to show with you share with you the um, the first show and share I'll uh, share with um, with you guys in that uh, first show and share discussion board so uh, here it is um, so I would call this a show hide slide a show hide slider um, there may be another name for it in the world of uh, smart exchange, but that's basically what it is. So what I have here is a question, and uh, when I click on this question on the smart board and slide it from the yellow, uh, from the blue region, excuse me, into the yellow region, uh, we get the answer to that question. Now, if I click on that and slide it back, you can see. So, who's the best football team in the NFC East? Anybody but the Eagles. And if if you go here, you can see how it kind of works, and. Um, and I'll explain a little bit about how it does work also um, in in, uh, in this little video. So here's another one. This was actually uh, one that uh, some students made in a uh, class, not my class, but another uh, teacher shared this with me. I had some students uh, ask me some questions and it worked. So basically you have prefixes, roots, and suffixes. And then if you want to take a prefix and put it together with a suffix, you can make the word up here. Uh, using that show hide slider. So same kind of uh, idea. So let's uh, Anna Gra oh, no, no, Graham, that's what I want, anagram. Yeah. So anyway, you can make lots of words and it's, it's uh, anagram I, so uh, you can make up new words. Um, but again, not my slide, but something that uh, some students did, kind of cool. And this one's uh, another way to do the same thing. So it's a little bit uh, different, but it's the same basic concept and we'll We'll talk about that in a few seconds. So what's the best way to get an A? And oh, look, there's the answer. It's flattery. So um, basically a show height slider, just uh, a different way to do it. So um, there's three slides, three examples of that show slide hider. Uh, what I'm going to do here is um, uh, I'm going to actually give a little tutorial on how to do that. And then I'll show what you need to do for the um, for the for the for the process itself. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to click on my shape tool. I'm going to get a rectangle. I'm going to make a big rectangle. I'm going to fill that rectangle with uh, some color. How about my wife can hear me right now, so I'll say green. Uh, the fill is green and the line is green. Uh, I didn't select the, the uh, shape. That's why it didn't work. Um, so now that I do, I'll make the, the fill green and the line green. So I have a big green uh, rectangle, basically. Uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, type some text, uh, and uh, the text will just so I'll just type text. And what I'm going to do is make that text uh, green, same color green as my um, as my box here. I'm going to clone this text. I'm going to slide this one down here, and uh, come into the text and edit it, and type more text. Uh, I'm going to highlight that text and change the color of that text to white. Uh, the, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this text, 
and put it next to the other word text. I'm going to grab a box around both of them. And I'm going to click and group those. And now what I've done is group the green text and the white text together. So if I take the green text and drag it onto the green, you can no longer see the green, but you can now see the white. If I move them onto the white, you can't see the white text, but you can see the green. So basically, we're using the color of the text to hide the text on a background that is the same color. Uh, so it's kind of a, a neat way to do it. I want to do um, the magnifying glass trick for you also. So um, first thing we need to do is uh, look at, so if I click on the gallery uh, and I uh, type in my search bar, uh, magnifying glass and hit search, uh, I get a, a list of items here. I've got some pictures and you can see two of them look like those, uh, those pictures we just used. So I'm going to click on the one that says transparent. And uh, now if I put um, some text here, uh, we'll, we'll check the uh, transparency. I'm going to move this to the front. Uh, the transparency of this, you can see it is uh, see-throughable. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do, and this is, um, this is a little goofy, uh, I'm going to um, uh, make the background color um, set background fill to some color. We'll make it green. My wife can't hear me anymore, but it's all good. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is get a circle, and I'm going to make that circle the same size as the magnifying glass, or at least I'm going to try to. Uh, so you can see I need to make it a little bigger. And I'll move it around just a little bit to try and match it up perfectly with the um, um, with the magnifying glass. I'm going to go to Properties, make that uh, make that circle. I can do it down here too. Make the circle white, and I'll leave the line uh, black because that kind of works for us here. Uh, I'm going to go back to the magnifying glass and order and bring that to the front. Um, and now I'm going to um, take this text and order, uh, bring it forward. I don't want it in the front. I want it forward. Okay, so now you can see the text goes over the white circle uh, that I made in the magnifying glass. Next step, take those two items, the circle and the magnifying glass. I'm going to group them. And the next thing I'm going to do is take my text and uh, change that so that it's the same color as the background screen. So now you're like, oh, there's no text there anymore. Well, if I bring my magnifying glass in, I can now see that text. So the text is there, it's just hidden because it's the same color as the background screen. So uh, kind of a neat little tool uh, that you can use. Um, you could put a bunch of text on the screen uh, and then you could find them all over the place with a little magnifying glass. You can make other tools that are the same, uh, but that's a little basic. Um, go. So now that I've spent all the time talking about that, I'm going to talk about what you need to do for your show and share. So obviously, in my uh, in my file here, I have examples of uh, the tool or the, the the neat little resource I found. The other thing I need to do is give an explanation, a brief description of the tool, uh, also. So I've got a blank slide here in the very beginning. I'm going to give my description there. Uh, so again, you can see I'm a pretty fast typer. Um, I've given a basic description of what's going on here. Um, I may, in this case, need uh, or try also to. Um, set up some um, additional instructions in this page uh, because uh, instructions meaning how to set up this kind of thing. Uh, some of the tools and resources you might find um, you won't need to go through that process because uh, how, to, how to manipulate it or how to uh, set it up will be a little more obvious. In this case I think it's going to be uh, useful to do a little information, provide a little information about how to set it up. But this is the basic uh, uh, requirement of the assignment, and um, submit this in the discussion post, and uh, and you're all set. Hope that wasn't uh, too exasperating, and uh, hope hope you enjoyed the little show hide slider. That's it.